Welcome to Streaming Deluxe, my name is Mr. Orange and welcome my friends to a new video. So today I'm going to talk about Horizon Zero Dawn, the complete edition that just released on Steam and you can see it has an all over review uh, of Mix, which is uh, a bit sad because it's an incredible great game. It's one of my personal favorite games, but there is a reason behind this, there's a reason behind this. So the game has frame rate drops, the game has crashes, the game... Yeah, the game has little stutters, micro stutters, and people have actually pretty good setups over an RTX 2060, RTX 80, Super 32 GB RAM, for example. And yeah, normally they shouldn't have those problems. So for me, more or less everything runs fine. I have a Maxwell Titan X and a very old i7 uh, 3800. 24 core Intel CPU for me. I don't have any bigger problems, but I want to show you uh, three three fixes tweaks how you actually can uh, can 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 improve the performance of your Horizon Zero Dawn and maybe afterwards you won't have any any yeah any crashes any micro stutters. So first of all uh, I we're jumping now yeah first of all there is a hotfix driver for the for for the 451.67 driver so this is the latest game ready driver you might have on your yeah, Nvidia graphics card and uh, if you want to uh, find uh, yeah if you want to improve some uh, some of the crashes etc random freezes and you might be willing to uh, um, to download here the hotfix driver version 4.1.85 nothing is in particular written for Horizon Zero Dawn but it's an option to use this driver so then we have the second fixes here that I found on the Steam uh, discussion board so of course uh, there are also problems with DirectX 12 so uh, some people are also saying there are problems with the crashes there. But here a quick fix for micro stutters by Soldier16. He also made a video, so I put you this in the in the commentary section. I put you this link. So of course, I mean turn turn off your your textures, your object details, your uh, TAA, your anti-aliasing, etc. Everything. So the graphics options, you just have to do something. Otherwise, uh, sometimes uh, well, when for example the shadow is too high, uh, I have like uh, frame rate drops that are crazy even on my machine. So do this but uh, then maybe turn down the render scale to 8090 that did the job for me also i'm playing on high medium settings so i think that's actually worth taking a look at to turn down the render scale if you might not have the the, the fastest graphics card so he for example has a gtx 1660i so he's turning down the render scale so check out his video also very interesting and now comes the solution that that worked for me i have to say uh, i was using the the river tuner statistics server so a short rtss you might read this in the steam and the steam forum discussion board very often so it's by guru guru 3d rtss river tune Tuna statistic servers just download this uh, it's actually a very nice program and then it's important that you are going to set the frame rate limit to 60 and uh, I'm showing you on my uh, on my application how this works so for example then yeah if you have downloaded it you give it uh, the, you get it with the MSI afterburner you put it here the frame rate limit to 60 here you can change it and uh, then most of the micro stutters together with some little tweaks in the, in the in the graphic options most of the micro stutters disappeared for me so I didn't have any uh, further problems so for me I can play it now nicely so this fix did it for me but uh, I might also uh, check out the soldier 16 fix and I might also uh, upload, uh, download, sorry, uh, the hotfix driver 
so then I have everything and of course uh, if all of this is not working then uh, I might just get a better PC but on the other hand Horizon Zero Dawn an old PlayStation 4 game should work uh, on most of the new PC on the new machine so there might be a problem with the port it might not be the best part so I I agree with this I mean it could be better but the graphics is amazing and just imagining but in one year maybe no one has any problems anymore because then it has been patched out so you can just wait until then but uh, in my personal opinion it's already very much playable my friends it's already very much playable and uh, yeah personally I also think there's no reason now to download it like massively it's an amazing game and we should all be uh, very happy and uh, consider us lucky that Sony uh, decided to bring this old PlayStation exclusive uh, to Steam so it's very a nice nice treat so I already played six hours uh, after release so I you see I really really like this game all right my friends so in this video now today no giveaway but uh, make sure always to check out the thumbnails and the title when there's written steam key giveaway then you know you can win a key and then you just comment this video so my latest giveaway uh, video is the weekend video uh, so make sure to go there like my like the video sub to my channel and uh, comment uh, my latest video then you participate at my next giveaway but this is just a little uh, update uh, video about some tweaks some fixes to just enjoy your horizon zero dawn experience much better so thank you very much guys for watching see you next time bye bye